So now moving on, I want to sort of touch on what makes people powerful, what the sources of power are. And I've got seven different categories I want to quickly go through, and then we'll start to move into, into some questions, because um, these are well described, not only in my books, but also on the website, so you can read a lot more detail later on. And these are in no particular order. And, you know, I know there is a lot of other authors like French and Raven who have talked about the sources of power. What I've done is looked at a very practical way and seen what is it that influences people at the moment in modern day type workplaces at this moment in time and probably one of the most important ones is credibility credibility is about your experience your track record your qualifications so what is it that you've got your skills of the job your ability to get the results that can make you really really powerful and very very influential provided people recognize it. Remember the perception and reality. Interesting aside to that is that credibility is something that we seem to each have our own notion of what it means and what makes another person credible. So you need to be very careful that as you're exercising and building your credentials, that you are building them in such a way and highlighting them in such a way that they are working with the audience that you want to influence. And I'll tell you more about that a little bit later. But credibility is quite key. Character is the next one I've chosen to highlight, partly because it wraps into this whole thing about charisma, and the way you come across, the way you, the way you engage with people and the way you transact business. And it is because this is where, in a way, the, the integrity piece comes in, which we've, we've talked about on previous parts. Strength of character has an influence because it creates that level of consistency and trust and the way people will, will, will trust you more, more more readily. And the whole thing about character in leadership circles sort of seems to have been forgotten about about 30, 40 years ago. But it is now, in my view, coming back very, very loud, very, very strong to have that strength of character in order to be able to influence. And boy, it does influence, particularly perhaps at these times when there are so many flames characters around although I think that's that's starting to wane now presence is the next one there and this is really referring to the physical presence the way you command attention the way you enter a room so quite often words like gravitas come in here the clothes that you are wearing the way you are wearing them the way you are using your body is another key part of this so presence is phenomenally influential and you recognize people who've got it. And I've done a lot of writing on this. And you, there are some more resources in the in the readings for you to go deeper into this as well. But these three, credibility, character and presence, are really, really useful to have. If you've got those in spades, you are automatically going to be really influential. And probably you'll get number four automatically because position status or status is a really really key part we already talked about the executive getting promoted and the reason why position is so powerful is and it's probably a statement of the obvious but command of resources the ability to be able to choose where those resources be they muddy money people or facilities where those things are being allocated is tremendously powerful also, the decision-making authority that quite often goes with COO or CFO, etc., can create an awful lot of influence. So it's, it's not gone away by any means, and it's something that is really influencing people. Connections is another key part. So this is your network, the network of relationships that you've built around your work. So who you know, it's not what you know, it's who you know is the common common adage, common, common phrase. But building a quality network, and it does need to be quality, there's no point in just having names or followers or, or friends on Facebook. That's not really connections. There needs to be the trust within those. As we were talking about on the last part, about unlocking the relationship, Relationship, the quality of the connections, the spread of your connections helps you to become more influential. 
skills skills is really and, and in particular when i'm talking about sources of power this is really about the the unique skills that you've got the things remember the supply and demand the things that are uniquely yours that you are commanding you are better than best you are best of class this is the things that you cannot that cannot easily be got elsewhere so the supply and demand is really coming coming in here but things that you've honed into an expertise and if they are going to influence they need to be in demand as well and the final one here is the agenda and by agenda I mean the things that you choose to focus your time and effort on the things that you always keep coming back to if I give you one example um, uh, one client of mine a very senior figure in the health service here in the UK her agenda is number one the patient the way this comes across is in just about every meeting every time there is a discussion going on she keeps coming back to but where is the patient in this where is the patient how are we looking after the patient that's what she's always talking about and i compare her to somebody else at a very senior level in the same organization and of course patients are very important but their key agenda is money and cost and driving down the cost so every time they're in a meeting they always keep referring to yeah but we've got to watch the cost how is this impacting the, the, the cost base etc and so they're two very very different agendas and as we'll see a little bit later a lot of this is about tuning into those agendas remember you've been analyzing agendas quite a lot already and then starting to work out what your agenda is. And if it is an agenda that is going to attract attention and get people moving towards you, then you are going to become more influential. And particularly if you can merge your agenda with other powerful people, then you're really going to grow. You're really going to move towards becoming much, much more influential.